The ocean is a pretty noisy place. From the crackle of the reef to grunting fish and all the way up to whale song, it would be pretty tough for you to not be able to hear the underwater noises of the sea. These animals all use sound to help adapt them to their way of life, whether that be to communicate with each other, navigate their way home, or to protect themselves. Lots of underwater marine animals produce sound and listen to the sounds around them to survive. But have you ever wondered what sound a shark makes? What sound do you think of immediately when you think of a shark? Is it this one? Yep, that's the sound of nothing but the ocean. How about this one? Or what about this one? Would you believe me if I told you that might be a shark? Well, today we're gonna have a look at where the sharks can make sound and what they might use that sound for. Welcome back to another Shark Bites episode, everyone. We've been studying sharks since the 1800s, trying to learn about them as much as we can. To be fair, back then, most studies were limited to descriptions of the animal or anatomical stuff. It wasn't until the 20th century that we started really kicking on with our research, and in the last 120 years, we've learned a lot. Admittedly, there's still so much we don't know about sharks, but shark scientists seem to be pretty confident on one thing, and that was sharks don't make sound. I mean, for an animal to be regularly called the silent predator, you would be pretty confident that that animal didn't make any noise. And that's because in nearly 300 years of looking at these animals inside and out, not a single shark species has been found that is anatomically capable of making sound. Scientists had never found a specific organ within sharks that is capable of making sounds, like how we might imagine anyway. On land, animals use a variety of different mechanisms to make sound. Mammals use their vocal cords to bark, roar, or in the case of humans, talk. Birds have a specialized organ known as the syrinx, capable of passing air past membranes to chirp and whistle. Even insects can rub their legs, wings, and thorax to produce noise. Sharks, on the other hand, have nothing. No vocal cords, no specialized organ, and they can't exactly rub their pectoral fins together to make sound. But what if I were to tell you there are two, maybe three species of shark that are capable of making noise? sort of. And on top of that, there's even two ray species. The first two shark species kind of count as one as they're very closely related to each other. And while they're capable of making sounds, it isn't quite what you might expect. These species are the swell shark and the drafts board shark, both belonging to the cephalocilium genus of sharks. They're cat shark species that tend to inhabit the waters around Australia and New Zealand. Now, with a name like swell shark, you'd probably be right in thinking that this species does something pretty cool. When threatened, these sharks bend their bodies into a U-shape, often grabbing their their caudal fin in their mouths and also swallow a large quantity of seawater when doing so. This causes them to swell to about twice their normal size, which makes it pretty difficult for whatever predator is trying to evict them from their rocky crevice or hidey hole to try and eat them. If they've survived the ordeal, they've got to then expel the water that they've just swallowed either out through their gills or their mouth. And as that water is forcibly removed from the body, it makes a rough horse sound that some people have described sounding similar to that of a barking dog. Now, I have searched hard and wide to try and find you a video of a swell shark making this noise online and it has proved exceptionally difficult. But this is Shark Bites. Have I ever let you down? I've managed to find two separate clips where you can sort of see slash hear this happening. Admittedly, they're not the best, but it's all I could find. The first clip is from someone filming off a pier. Unfortunately, he's running back with some pliers at the exact time the swell shark does this, so he's maybe a second or two late to properly catch it on film, but I'll play it for you a couple of times anyway. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Come on, cough it up for you. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Come on, cough it up for you. So you can see just as he's running back with some pliers to try and get the hook out, this swell shark has just expelled all that water that was inside its stomach onto the dock, but we don't quite hear the hoarse barking sound that's been described. Annoyingly, if he hadn't had to go and get those pliers, he probably would have managed to get the sound on film. If you go back and listen to it again, you can kind of hear it. It almost sounds like someone throwing up. Now, the next clip is much more subtle, but you can definitely hear something. In this clip, we've got young Millie who's putting a swell shark back out in deeper water, and as she picks it up, you can almost hear a hoarse hissing noise coming from that swell shark. I'll play it for you a couple of times again. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. It's alright, it's alright. Right. So as she picks the shark up and it's thrashing back and forth, you can hear that hissing sound two, maybe three times, and that'll be the shark expelling a small amount of water out of the mouth and gills. It's not quite as obvious as the first clip because there's less water being expelled from the shark and maybe the level of sound is influenced purely by how much water it's decided to swallow. Okay, so right now you're probably saying, Chris, 
that doesn't count. It's not really barking. It's just the sound of water coming out of its mouth and gills. And you'd be absolutely right. That is what's causing the sound. Scientists have reported that these shark species are making this sound both underneath and above water, but they're still not really sure on what its purpose is. They don't even know if it's an intentional behavior or whether they're just accidentally doing it. If it is intentional, then it might be an attempt to startle predators, which if it's happening underwater is probably gonna cause bubbles as that water comes out of the mouth and gills, which might distract a predator for long enough for the shark to get away. Speaking of startling predators, that moves us on quite nicely to our two very noisy ray species. Stingrays are pretty closely related to sharks and you can sort of think of them as cousins. And there's actually two species of stingrays that have fairly recently for the first time been recorded making sounds out in the wild. The two stingrays in question are the cowtail stingray and the mangrove whip ray, which are often found in the Indo-Pacific, mostly around Australia. Right, let's have a listen. So you can see in both of these species, the sound is clearly coming from the spiracles on the top of the head there. You can see those spiracles contracting just as the sound is produced. It's unknown exactly how the mechanism works, but it could again be the fast expulsion of water out of those spiracles that's making the sound. The scientists responsible for the study reported that the stingrays made this sound when approached underwater and proceeded to swim away. Interestingly, they also reported that after one stingray began making the sound, other stingrays in the area flocked over to the clicking stingray and also began clicking, which would suggest that these stingrays recognize the sound, meaning it could have a role to play in communication between members of the same species. So the clicking here in stingrays is clearly a response to a perceived threat, i.e. the stingrays were concerned about the snorkeler, so began furiously clicking. This means that they might use that sound to try and startle any predators that are trying to eat them. But then the fact that other stingrays were flocking towards the one individual that was making the noise is pretty crazy. It would mean that not only are they grouping together in the presence of danger, kind of like a safety in numbers thing, but also they're able to recognize the noise and what it might mean, which is basically suggesting that they have the ability to communicate information about what's happening in their environment and have that information understood by other individuals of the same species. I honestly can't wait to see more about this research as it develops. Now, earlier, right at the start of this video, I played you a pretty strange underwater noise that sounded like this. So what on earth is this and is it really coming from a shark? Well, the clip comes from a chap called Jonathan Green. He was reviewing some footage that was captured by a camera that was placed on the back of a whale shark for BBC's Blue Planet 2 series. Late at night, he was having a look at some of the footage that was recorded that day. And after hours and hours of hearing absolutely nothing, he heard a pretty strange sound. He describes it as a low gravelly whisper. And after hearing it, he woke up the rest of his team so that they could have a listen. Let's have a listen again, shall we? Green and his team didn't believe the sound to be coming from a boat engine because based on the timestamp from that video, their boat engine was off when the sound was heard. There also weren't any other boats in the area at the time. They were in Darwin's Arch, which is a pretty remote part of the Galapagos Islands. So the file sat for three years untouched on Green's computer until in 2019, he decided to post it onto the Galapagos Whale Shark Project Facebook page. It gained quite a lot of attention and importantly attracted the attention of whale shark researchers who had similar stories of the own. One of whom was back then undergraduate student Heather Barrett, who was volunteering on a whale shark research project in the Gulf of California. She spent three summers between 2010 and 2012 photo IDing whale sharks in this area and had heard similar noises as what Jonathan Green and his team had heard in 2016. Heather even got one really interesting recording of a group of 10 or so whale sharks feeding amongst a bait ball of fish where the sound of drum-like pulses could be heard repeatedly. I've not been able to get my hands on any of Heather's clips, unfortunately, and sadly, she couldn't get any funding for this research project idea and decided she had to move on. It's not unusual for that to happen, to be fair, and at the end of the day, research grants can't always go to blue sky research ideas. They often go for the safer options. But it wasn't just Heather that was hearing these strange noises. Dr. Denny Ramirez Macias, the director of the Mexico Whale Shark Project, has also claimed to have heard the noises over the last 19 years of working with whale sharks. She even said there was one particular male whale shark who seemed to make the noise every time her and her team jumped
jumped in the water around him. Rafael de la Parra, another researcher working with whale sharks in Mexico, says he's heard the noise for the last 17 years. And he's described it almost as a low roar or a purr, like what cats might do. So you've got four independent people there, all reporting hearing the same or a similar noise around whale sharks. But then on the flip side, there's a number of very qualified whale shark researchers who claim to have never heard the noise. Dr. Alistair Dove has never heard the noise from the whale sharks at Georgia Aquarium, although I suppose you could say that those ones are juvenile individuals, and also they're in captivity. Marina Padilla, who's been in the water pretty much every single day with whale sharks for the last six years in La Paz, Mexico, says she's never heard the noise. But interestingly, Marina does say that one of her friends claims to have heard it. I spent three and a half months in the water pretty much every single day with whale sharks in the Philippines, and I didn't hear the noise. Admittedly, that does pale in comparison to the years that some of these scientists have got, as opposed to the months that I had. It's probable that something is going on here. As to whether it's coming from the shark or something else is a mystery that still needs to be solved. I think if we watch the video again, it's clear the sound happens twice, just before a smaller shark species, maybe a Galapagos shark, rubs up against the bottom of that whale shark. So is it maybe reacting to that smaller shark? Dr. Alistair Dove, who I mentioned earlier, doesn't dismiss the idea completely because he was also part of the team who were out there and heard that noise. He said that there's a load of footage of these sharks just swimming around in the blue, not making any noise at all. And the moment that the noise is heard just so happens to be at exactly the same time a smaller shark is getting right up in that whale shark's grill. I think that's interesting. I think if we bring this back to the swell shark noise, it could be somewhat related to that. Whale sharks often feed on plankton at the surface and in doing so, occasionally take in big gulps of air. People have seen bubbles escaping from the gills of whale sharks on several occasions. So this sound could literally be the sound of escaping air. I mean, some of these sharks are longer than the length of a bus. So that's a big old body cavity for air to be moving around in. So just like the swell shark, we could simply be hearing the sound of air. Whatever it is, we might be somewhat close Closer to knowing the answer to this as Heather Barrett is supposedly planning to dust off the project and put a little bit more time into it. As I love to say here on Shark Bites for this one, we're just gonna have to wait and see. If it does turn out to be roaring, I know that I'm gonna get so much stick from you guys for the whole hashtag roar, hashtag no roar thing in shark films. For the time being though, I'm gonna open this one up to all of you watching at home. What on earth do you think is making this noise? Are whale sharks communicating with each other using this noise or are we just listening to them burp? I wanna hear all your thoughts in the comments below. Also, let me know if you've seen any other swell shark barking clips. I couldn't manage to find any more, but maybe you can, so post the link in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below by clicking that big red subscribe button. Also, turn that notifications bell on and that way you can stay up to date with with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.